Hey everyone, Chris Gambit here, Editor-in-Chief of the Fablographer, and I decided that I would come back to my editing tutorials here in Capture One. Now that Capture One 12 is out, and it seems like a lot more people have much more interest in it over the new Lightroom, I decided that I would come back to it and do a couple of tutorials, um, just for fun and also just to be a little bit more insightful. So, what I'm doing here is I'm going to edit a file from the Canon EOS R. Um, this image um, was actually shot for a sponsored post that Canon commissioned us for, but this video is not at all sponsored. So I decided that I would do a black and white tutorial for this and try to figure out a way that I can make this look sort of like uh, Sin City or something. I don't want to say film noir. I think that's kind of terrible, but... Um, Something more like Sin City. And I want to also show you guys how white balance will affect that. So, right now we're doing uh, what it was shot at, um, which is the same thing as auto. So, with the EOS R, I'm going to choose, um, let's say, high contrast film. Okay. So, usually what you would do to edit is you would go to the color editor over here and you would choose something... Uh, sort of selective in the channels and you would edit accordingly so like if I wanted to work with just the reds and not really a lot of the reds that you see over here I would do this and you're still getting some of the reds over there but you're not getting all those reds on his face so now I can saturate it and now they pop up even more so that's what you would usually do there but um that's not what we want to do at the moment so what I'm doing instead is I want to edit it as a black and white. And I'm going to go out of this, and I'm going to say no to that. And now I'm going to say yes to enable it black and white. So now you're working with black and white tones only, and these tones correspond to what's in the image. So red over there is going to correspond to red over there. And what you see is it can either go really bright and really washed out, or it can uh, get really, really dark. So, you know, this doesn't necessarily work because maybe I just want a little bit more detail to come out of there and I don't want it to affect there. So instead what I do is I would nerf the highlights and you'll see it's just going to kill that and you'll just see nothing else but coffee there. So now I can go ahead and I can continue editing. Um, I do like that look. I think that's fine. The blue, no, I want more of that detail back, but not a whole lot. And the magenta, magenta is not really affecting the scene that much. It's just going to be over there. And cyan, um, let's nerf the cyan. Green, there's not a whole lot either. Okay, so here we have a great starting point for the image. Uh, but now I'm deciding, hmm, you know, I like it a little bit more contrasty. So I'm going to make him pop a little bit more by adding more contrast. And then I'm going to lower the brightness just a bit. But now I'm losing some of that shadow detail. So I'm going to lower the brightness, but I'm going to boost the shadows. And now I'm getting more of that shadow detail back in the sky over there. Uh, but let's see what will happen if I boost the blues. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, actually, no. I don't really like that because it's affecting his jacket a little bit too much. And then I'm going to say, okay, punch... Uh, this is the clarity. Unlike Lightroom, uh, Capture One has different versions of clarity. There's more natural, there's neutral, there's classic, and there's punch. And punch can actually be one of my favorites. So let's see what happens with a vignette. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's putting a little bit more emphasis on him. And uh, let's go to sharpening. So what you're probably realizing is, hey, this editing interface is much different from Lightroom. And yeah, you're right. So what you usually do is I usually pick files from like here and then uh, this is usually for like tethered capture. I don't really work with that. And I've customized this whole area to really just be what I want it to be. Then you have lens correction. Um, I shot this with the 50 millimeter f1.2 and it's analyzing right now and it's analyzed and created some sort of profile for it. But other than that, you would choose it manually over here. It's not there right now at the moment. And then usually this is where I spend most of my time, editing via colors and HSL. In Lightroom, you just have everything here, and you just scroll up and down. And to me, it's kind of annoying. Um, and then here is more of 
uh, the editing abilities, but you also have a sort of basic panel. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. I think this is actually called a basic editing. Oh, quick editing. That's what they call it. So if you wanted all those uh, things that you usually have in Lightroom, you can just sort of set them up like this. Uh, there's also process recipes that you can put out for uh, exporting. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, styles and presets, all that stuff. But let me copy this edit. And let me see another image that I may want to apply this to. So let's go through. This is a JPEG of that photo. I know that there is one where it's more of a hero shot. And I'm trying to find... No. No. I think that was it. Yeah, that will be it. But let's go to the raw of that. And now let's apply those changes. So those changes aren't necessarily working there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nerf the highlights even more. And I'm probably going to tone back on the... No, nah, I want the contrast up there. And I'm going to lower the brightness. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the scene. So this face is going to be associated with the yellow channel, most likely. So if I nerf the yellow channel, yeah, more details absolutely come back in his face. Let's take a look at color again. Blue, red yellow um see in color it looks like uh there's clipping there but in black and white there isn't and that's what's really awesome about black and white editing i really adore black and white editing and if you really sort of think it's a crutch you should try to get into it and see what's available so i can really blow this out and that looks pretty cool but i don't really want to so i'm gonna just keep it right about there and that's it um, this is a quick tutorial editor on how to edit a black and white image in Capture 112. Um, obviously this will change per image. Uh, and it's fun overall, and I believe that everyone should really just go ahead and give it a try and see what's possible when you go in and you try a new program that's arguably much better when it comes to editing images than Adobe Lightroom. So, uh... Yeah, guys, go ahead. Give it a try. Let me know what you think of the comments. Take care.